Hey folks, I welcome you all to Scalar Academy's YouTube channel. And this is the third video in the SQL tutorial series. And in the previous two videos, we learned how to create a table and also how to insert records into our table. And in this particular session, we will see how to work with the where clause and filter out records on the basis of this where clause. So before I actually head to the coding, I request you guys to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. So on that note, let me open up MySQL Workbench. So I've opened up MySQL Workbench over here. Let me go ahead and select my local instance and also put in the password. So the password, I'm typing it over here. Let me hit enter and we have successfully opened up our local instance. And I would again open up the student table which we had created in the previous video. Now, if you would uh, want to know how to actually create a table and insert records into a table, you can follow the first two videos and you will find the link for these two videos in the description below. So if you don't really know how to create a table and also how to insert records, I request you guys to watch those videos first and come back over here. Now, let me go ahead and open up my student table. And before that, I'd actually have to select my database. So the student table I had created in a database called as college. So here, now before I write this, let me also increase the size of this so that you can see this properly. So here I shall write down use and then I shall give him the database name. So the name of the database is college. After this, I'll just give in a semicolon. Let me select this and select this thunder symbol. And we have executed this. Now that we have selected our database. So in this college database, I have a table called as student. Let me go ahead and open up all of the records which are present over there. So here I shall write select star from. Then I need to give in the name of the table. So the name of the table is student. Now let me select this again. And as you see, I have opened up the student table. And in the student table, I've got all of these columns, student ID, first name, last name, marks and gender. Now, in this video, we are supposed to work with the where clause and with the help of where clause, we can filter out records on the basis of a condition. So let's say from this entire table, I would want to extract only those records where the gender is equal to male. Let me go ahead and write down the command for that. So I'll start off by writing select star from and after this I need to give in the table name which would be equal to student. So till here what we're doing is we're just using the select query. After this we will give in the where clause. So here I shall write down where and as you see even the color of this where clause has turned to blue because this is a keyword. So I'm writing select star from student where after this I need to give him the condition and the condition is s underscore gender this needs to be equal to male. So from this entire table what I'm doing is I'm extracting only those records where the gender of the student is equal to male. Let me select this entire thing. Let me press this. And now if you see, I have extracted only those records where the gender is male. Similarly, let's say from this entire table, I'd want to extract only those records where student ID is equal to or greater than 103. So this where you see, so this is actually a numerical entity and the ID start from 101 go up till 105. What I'd want is I'd want to extract all of those students whose student ID is equal to or greater than 103. So here I shall write select, let me write this properly. So select star from student. And after this, I again given the where clause and after the where clause, I given the condition. So the condition needs to be S ID is equal to or greater than 103. Let me actually change this and make this greater than or equal to 103. 
let me select this entire thing and let me run this now as you see the s id over here it starts from 103 and goes up till 106 now let's say if i want the student ids from 104 or basically upwards of 103 then i shall remove this equal to symbol from over here now if i run this you shall see that i have extracted only those records where the student id is greater than 103 and that is why i have 104 105 and 106 now after this let's say if i want to extract records on the basis of multiple conditions so here i can use the and operator as well as the or operator with the help of and operator i'll be basically extracting those records where both of the conditions are satisfied so for that let me show you the entire table for you guys again so i shall again write down select star from student now from this what i'd want to do is i'd want to extract those students where the gender is male and marks scored by the student is less than 50. So if we see from this entire table, we see that there is only one particular record where the gender is male and marks scored is less than 50, which is basically this student and the name of the student is Matt Cooper. So for this, what I'd want to do is, I'll again start off with the same thing. So we shall have select star from student. After this, I shall give in the where clause and I will follow it up by giving both the conditions. So let me give in the first condition. Select star from student where the first condition needs to be gender. So I shall write S gender is equal to, let me write down male over here. After this, I shall integrate it or combine it with the second condition using the AND operator. So this what you see is known as the AND operator and with the help of this I can combine two conditions together. Select star from student where S gender is equal to male and the second condition needs to be S marks. Let me write this properly. So S marks needs to be less than 50. Now I shall select this entire thing and I shall execute this. So as you see over here, there is only one student and the student is Matt Cooper. And as you see, Matt Cooper, his gender is male and his marks are less than 32. Now, after this, I would go ahead and show you the entire table again. So let me write down select star from student. And these are all of the records over here. Now, again, let me show you another command with the help of the AND operator. So here, now let's say I'd want all of those records where the gender is female and marks are greater than 50. So let me also write a command for that. So here I shall write select star from student where after this I need to write down and to give the first condition and this time the condition would be s gender is equal to female. I'll follow it up with the AND operator and then given the second condition. So the second condition is S marks greater than 50. Now let me execute this. I'd have to write from over here, select star from student. Now let me execute this. And as you see, again, there is only one student and the name of the student is Annie Cleopatra, whose gender is female and who has scored 87 marks. Now we'll go ahead and work with the OR operator. Now, before I do that, let me again show you the entire table. So I shall again write down, select star from student. I'll execute this. And from this, let's say I don't want all of those records where either the student ID has to be less than 104 or the marks of the students are greater than 50. So what I'm doing is I'm basically giving in two conditions over here. The first condition is the SID needs to be less than 104 and the marks needs to be greater than 50. So by that condition seems like we'll be extracting all of that. So what I'll do is uh, since I want both the cases, so I shall maybe put in the gender condition. So either uh, what I'll do is uh, the SID has to be less than 104 and maybe the 
I'll put the gender as equal to female. Let me just write that down. So select star from, I shall write select star from student where the first condition needs to be S underscore ID is less than 104. After this, I shall write down, I'm giving an OR operator over here and I'm combining this OR operator with the next condition. So the next condition would be S underscore gender is equal to female. And let me go ahead and execute this. So here what is happening is if either of these conditions is satisfied, we'll get the result. So what we'll get is, so we've got six records over here and with the help of this condition. So this says if student ID is less than 104, which would mean that we'll get the top three records over here. And along with that, since we're also giving in the second condition, which is as gender is female. Now here, even though the student ID is 106, which is greater than 104, but as you see, the gender is female. And that is why we'll also get this particular record. So let me select this entire thing. Let me run this. And as I've told you guys from the entire table, I have extracted those records where the student ID is either less than 104 or the student gender is equal to female. So folks, this is how we can work with the where clause and filter out records on the basis of this. So thank you very much for attending this session. And again, if you found this session insightful, please do like this video and also subscribe to our channel. And we'll meet in the next one. Thank you.